A business email is a professional email that uses your website domain. My name is Sunday. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create free business emails on Bluehost and connect them to your Gmail so you can access your emails using your Gmail mobile or desktop app. The best part is following this process, you can create unlimited email addresses. Yes, you had that right. So go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload new helpful videos like this. For now, let's get started. So the first step is to log into your Bluehost account and you can do that by visiting bluehost.com and clicking on the login at the top right here. All right, so you can log into your Bluehost account using the email you use while creating your Bluehost account or your website domain. So I'm just going to use my domain and you want to put your password. So I'm going, just going to copy my password from my password manager app. So for you, you can go ahead and paste in your password or type it in if you have it memorized. And then you want to click on login. All right, so this is just going to load the Bluehost dashboard. Awesome. So once you're on your Bluehost dashboard like this, the first thing you want to do is to click on advanced. So that's going to take us to what is called the cPanel, which is actually a web hosting control panel. So from here, we'll be able to create an email address. So once you are in the cPanel, you're going to see the first option here where it says email, what you want to do is to click on email account. And this will show you the interface where you can create free business emails. So what you want to do is to click create and it's going to ask you for the username, which is simply going to be for something like info, if that's what you want, if you want to create and the email address is going to be info at your domain.com. So it can be info, and then you, what you want to do is to enter your password right here, which is going to be the password that's going that you're going to be using to access this email. So I'm just going to copy this password here and paste it in. Or I'm just going to type in an easier one. next thing you want to do if you want to create more email addresses you can click stay on this page after I click create so you can create additional emails so let's go ahead and click create and then I want to go and create go ahead and create another email so I can create Sunday dot Tafil hat this domain dot com and then you want to go ahead and enter your password again And then you click create so we have so we have created two email addresses so far and then it looks like Bluehost has started putting limit on these so for these I'm on I'm just going to show you the Bluehost plan I'm on and I'm guessing that's why there's a bit of limit I'm on the WordPress plan the, the WordPress hosting plan I'm on the basic plan, which is this. So this is basically a new account, a demo account, which I created just to create some series of videos on Bluehost. So I'm on this plan, which is a bit limited. So if you're on the plus or the choice plus plan, you should have more resources, which will also allow you to create more emails. All right, so let's go back. So the next part is how to access the emails we've created okay so there are two ways to access the emails we've created one is using a feature called webmail which is basically accessing our email directly on the web and for that you want to visit your domain for slash webmail and it's going to load an interface where you can log into your email address 
your username and password all right so what you want to do is to enter your email address which is going to be info at the domain or whatever email you created and then the next thing you want to enter your password so I'm going to go ahead and type in my password all right so it's going to log us in and the next thing there are lots of there are different apps here you can use to access your email inbox such as or yeah or run cube so i'm just going to go ahead and go with run cube i can click on open my inbox when i log in so whenever you visit webmail and log in it's just going to log you straight to your email inbox without you having to select the email app you want to use between these and so you can try both half out just to see which has a better interface so let's go ahead and click on run cube here to log in with run cube so this is just going to log you into your email inbox you're going to see a welcome email which has some setup instructions that we can use to set up our email on gmail or have look and we're going to be using this information later on so this is what the run cube webmail email inbox looks like and then you can accept access your inbox draft send and so on you can compose an email right here Right, so I'm going to go back to webmail home and then I'm going to click on this other email app. I think it's called HUD. So I'm going to click on it and then you're going to see what and I'm going to click here to log in with it. You're going to see what the email inbox looks like with this app. So this is just another app for accessing your uh, webmail. It's just like us having how to look. And Gmail, which has which has different interface, so this is just another email interface for webmail. This also has inbox sent and so on. I can create a new email from here. Okay, so let's quickly go back to our Bluehost dashboard. Let me show you something really important. All right, so this is where we have the interface. We created the email account. All right, I'm going to show you quickly how to reset your password. So you may find out that you may be trying to log in and you find out that you've forgotten the password for the emails you created now to reset the password what you want to do is to click come here and click on manage and then it's just going to show you the password box and then you can enter a new password and then just come down and click on update email settings and your email is going to start using the new password that you had just set you can also delete your email account right there if you no longer need it or you can delete it from where we have all the email addresses so you can select the email or emails you no longer need and then you can click delete here just to delete them so let's go ahead and set up our emails on gmail so i'm just going to go to gmail.com so we'll be setting this up on gmail for the web so once you are in your inbox what you want to do is to click on the settings icon at the top right here and you want to click on see all settings and next you want to click on accounts and input and under check mail from other accounts you want to click add a mail account and we're going to go ahead and add our email address so for you you're just going to add the business e email you created and once you've done that you want to click on next and it's going to select these import email from my other account you want to go ahead and click on next and it's asking you for the username which is simply your email address and the password is the password you had entered while while creating your business email the pop server is mail dot life with so dot com so this is correct so you don't have to change it when in doubt you can always refer to the welcome email you had received and if you didn't receive the welcome email what you want to do is to go to where we created the emails and click on 
connect devices and you're going to see the same information we will receive in the emailed inbox right here so the configuration settings you're going to see it and then you're going to see the instructions to set it up on other devices so you can use this instruction to set up your business email on HireX for iPhone and the different other devices so you can click this and you see the instruction to set it up you can also add an email here to email the instruction to someone by email all right so let's go back and continue our settings so once we've added this we want to make sure our port is correct so we can always check here for the port so you can see it's 995 so we want to make sure that we select 995 So here it says leave a copy of retrieve messages on your server which we can click if we don't click this whatever emails that is synchronized with memory is going to delete the email the emails on the original server so you can click learn more to learn more information about this allow always use a secure connection ssl when retrieving email you want to leave this checked It says level incoming messages just to add a level to incoming messages with this domain so you will know where the email is coming from so you can also do that so you just add a level for all of your incoming messages so that those are the options that are necessary to take but this isn't compulsory but you can always do this so it has a level to all incoming messages from here. Once you're done, what you want to do is to click on add account and if the information is correct, it's going to go ahead and add the account. So you see, it says here, your mail account has been added. All right, so the last step is you have to click yes, I want to be able to send mail as info at your domain. So you'll be able to send uh, messages using your business domain and not your personal email right so after selected this is checked by default so you want just want to go ahead and click next okay so go ahead and leave this treat as an headers checked and click the next step and let me just go back a bit so I can explain something this is the display name so this the display name is basically the name people are going to see when uh, you said an email so when it ever there's an email from you the display name is the name that's going to show that the email is from in your handbox so just make sure this is the name you want it to display either your this either your business name your company name or if it's your personal email you could make it your name for instance this could be Sunday cafe at if this was Sunday the cafe at this domain.com this would have been Sunday at life we so we to make that make sense all right so I'm just going to leave this as Sunday cafe since this is just me walking you through how to do this so let's go ahead and click next step all right so here he wants us to configure our mail server so the SMTV server name this is correct so we're just going to copy username is info at livewithsubit.com and then the port we can always check in the email inbox so port SMTP port is 465 so we're going to go back and we're going to select 465 and the password the, is the password we had entered while creating our email address and then always leave this as secure connection at secure connection using SSL is recommended and then click on add account all right so a confirmation code was sent to info at live with so com. so google is going to send a confirmation code to this email basically to confirm that you are the one doing this so this is just to ensure anyone cannot just go and add someone's uh, email to their gmail so what you want to do next is to log in to 
your business email using webmail which i showed you earlier and you want to go and get the confirmation code from google okay so i refreshed and you can see gmail team and i'm going to click on this to open the email and if I scroll down, you see that here is the code. So I'm going to copy it and then go back to the interface, paste it, and click on verify. Awesome. So that's it. You can see take mail from other accounts, info, had live with survey.com. So you can see that that has been added. If you want to add uh, other email addresses you've created, go ahead and click uh, and click add email account. And repeat the exact steps that we followed before we leave this interface there's one important settings we have to enable and that is reply from the same address the message was sent to under when replying to a message so make sure you select this now what this is going to do is that when someone sends an email to you at this address at your business email and you reply it's going to automatically you will reply from that address so you don't be replying from your personal address and also when someone sends an email to your personal email address the reply is also going to be from your personal email address all right so if we go to our inbox and we scroll down you are going to see that we're going to have a new level here which is going to be info at hard domain now for me i have several levels which is why this is at uh, at the bottom here but i can always drag this up for you this is going to show somewhere at the top for me it's basically because i've created lots of levels here that's why i have it at the bottom but i can always drag this to the top and if i click this you're going to see all my emails all the emails available in the webmail are also going to be available here and i can also reply to the email right from my gmail uh, interface so i can always reply from here and i can also create a new email using the business email but you have to always come up here and select the email you want to send from so if you want to send email using the business email you have to select it here and then you can go ahead type where you're sending it to the subject and send the email normally the way you will send email with gmail but the difference now will be that you will now be using your professional business email to send email right from gmail so that's how to create free business emails on bluehost and connect your email addresses to your gmail so you can check and send email right from gmail I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel click the bell icon so you'll be notified when i upload new videos like this thank you for watching